If editing and posting are the two things holding you back from staying consistent and growing online, what if it all just happened automatically? Every week I talk to creators who quit, not because they lack ideas or passion, but because editing and posting takes too long. But what if you could drop your raw content into a folder and five minutes later it's edited and posted to all your socials automatically? I built an automation that does exactly that and the best part is anyone can set it up in a few minutes because I'm giving you my complete automation blueprint print for free. I'll walk you through it step by step so you can import it, add your info and start posting on autopilot. With this automation, you'll finally be able to stay consistent and grow your audience without wasting hours every week editing and scheduling posts. Let's jump in and I'll show you how it works. So to build our automation, we're going to use make, which is a no code automation builder that makes it really easy to build automations. And it's also what you're going to use to import my blueprint. So just click link below and you can sign up for a free account and actually when you use my link you get a free month on the pro plan signing up takes a few seconds once you've signed up for make go to scenarios and then go create scenario and now you're going to want to import my blueprint so click the link in the description down below and you can grab my free blueprint and once you grabbed it just go to import blueprint choose the file and just like that my entire blueprint shows up and now all you're going to do is customize a few things and this is going to be working for you in no time now don't worry i'm going to walk you through everything you see here step by step and tell you what you need to do in each of these modules. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use Dropbox to retrieve our file. So this is gonna be the trigger. So when you drop your raw file into Dropbox, which is an online folder basically, then it's just gonna trigger this entire automation. Now you might be wondering, can I use Google Drive instead? Yes, you can, but it is a little bit more complicated. There are more steps. Google makes this a little bit tricky actually. And that's why I'm using Dropbox because it's way easier and way more reliable in this sense so we're gonna stick with Dropbox and Dropbox is completely free so you can just sign up on dropbox.com it takes a few seconds now once you've signed up for Dropbox just create a folder name it whatever you'd like and then upload a test video in here for now and in the future this is where you'll be uploading all your videos and then the automation will automatically trigger and start posting for you and editing the file automatically but for now just upload one file so you can test this yourself so you can see I have a number of files in here already now hopping back to make.com click on this module and we're going to go to add and then hit save and then it's going to ask you to log into Dropbox and you just log into Dropbox and it will be authorized for you instantly. So you're just logging into your Dropbox account in Make. Then what you're going to want to do is go to select from list and then choose the folder that you just made. Dropbox will automatically show you all the folders and just choose the one that you just made. Now this limit here means how many files it can process at a time. If you're uploading more than one file at a time then you can change this number but if you're just doing one file at a time you can keep it on one. So it's really up to you. Next, just make sure this is on file path display. And what this is doing is just updating the video that you just uploaded and making sure that make.com and everything else we'll use can access it. So there's really nothing for you to do here. You already have your connection. Just make sure it says path display here and that's it. You don't need to change anything else. Allow download is on. Everything here should be exactly like I'm showing you. Nothing really for you to do. In this next module, we're going to be using a tool called sub magic. And this is what's going to automatically edit our videos. So click link below and you can sign up for sub magic right here. Now, in order to use the API, which is the thing that we need for automations, you can sign up for sub magic for free, but in order to fully automate this process and let make connect to sub magic, so you don't have to log into anything, then you do need the API and the API requires a paid plan, but you can use my code below and save 10%. And so it's just a few dollars a month. So after you sign up, it takes about a minute, then click up here, click account settings, go to API and then generate an API key and copy this and put it somewhere in a notepad. Then what you're gonna do is click into this module and just paste your API key right here here. That's all you need to do in this section. Everything else I've done for you, leave all of this alone. Now I've written some code for you here and you don't need to modify any of this, but I'm going to explain what it means if you do want to modify some things. So this is just the name. This is going to be English. You can change it to another language if you want. Don't change this. And then this is the template name. I'm going to link this API documentation down below, but you just need to change that to whatever style you actually like. And if you actually want to see what it looks like, just go into Submagic, upload a video manually, and you can get a live preview of each of them. Just click on them and I'll show you in real time. So let's say you wanted Beast, then you would just 
put Beast in here instead of Hormozy one, which is an Alex Hormozy style I'm using. Again, this is all optional. You don't have to do any of this. You can just leave it as is and you can go with Alex Hormozy subtitles you're gonna see if you like. Magic zooms means it's automatically gonna do transitions and zooms. Magic B-roll means it's automatically gonna do B-roll for you. 50% means how frequent it is. And it's also gonna remove silences for you. So if you take long to speak or you have a lot of dead air, that's not good with editing. It's gonna take that out for you and the speed it does that. And then it's also gonna remove your bad takes. So if you repeat the same thing a few times, it'll actually just cut all those takes out. So literally it's just editing everything for you, adding the captions, taking out the dead air, adding the zooms, adding B-rolls, taking out bad takes. It's just doing everything. Again, if you want, you can edit some of this. I'll drop the API documentation if you're comfortable with that. If not, just leave it alone. And parse response, leave that on yes. And when you're done, hit save. And so once this module runs, it's actually going to start creating the project. And so in the next step, you don't have to do anything. You just want to wait about five minutes. So you don't have to touch this. I've already set it up for you. And then what we need to do is we need to get the information from the video that was just rendered. Again, all you need to do is put in your API key you copied down. There's nothing else for you to change. Just put in your own key here. That's it. And now once that whole part is finished, then your entire video is going to be rendered and edited and ready to be posted. And so in order to make a post, of course, we need a caption. And that's where ChatGPT comes in. So the first thing you'll need to do is sign up for ChatGPT. If you don't have an account already, just go to platform.openai.com, click on the cog, go to API keys, create a new secret key, and then just go to billing and make sure you load at least $5 in here, which will last literally almost eternity, <laughs> the little we're using it. So it'll last a very, 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 very long time. And once you've done that, click into this module, go to add, add the API key you just made in ChatGPT. This is actually optional. You don't have to, and then hit save and ChatGPT will authorize. Now you do not have to change anything here. I've given it all the instructions for how it's going to write the prompt. So you don't need to worry about any of this. All you're doing is adding your own account and then hitting save. That's it. So then ChatGPT is going to write the caption for us based Based on the video and this is an intelligence system where we're going to transcribe what you said in the video and use that transcription to write a caption with hashtag you'll see it when i run the whole scenario in the end right now i'm just walking you through it and then you can post to whatever platform you want i've given you the example of instagram and facebook here but you could add linkedin you could add youtube you literally can post to whatever platform you want just add that module and map it similar to how i'm about to show you so for instagram for business all you need to do is log into your Instagram account here and then don't change anything else. That's all you need to do and you can choose to share it to your feed if you want. Just hit yes and hit save. And for a Facebook reel, again, just sign into Facebook. Don't change anything else here. I've done it all for you. That's it. And now to test this for the first time, what you're going to do is you're going to right click here. You're going to go choose where to start, choose manually, and then you're going to choose the file you just uploaded as the example. So let's choose this one for me. And then you hit run once. And so it went and grabbed the file, it updated the link, and now it started to create the project. It put out the request. And now if we actually hop over to Submagic, you can see it's starting to be created. Of course, it's not finished yet, so it's just great, but you can actually watch the progress. You can see it's generating, perfect. And this can take five minutes or more, depending on how big the video is. And while it's rendering, I wanna show you one other thing. So Submagic will work for vertical clips like this. Oh, that's and it works for horizontal clips hey, as did well. Did you know that the overwhelming majority of people who try and make money on Lafayette? So it'll work with both horizontal and vertical clips, so it's not limited to one. And so if we go back, we can see that it's still processing. I've set this to be five minutes. Usually it's faster, but just to be safe, I've set this to wait five minutes. So once it's done being created, the system's then gonna grab the information it needs to feed to ChatGPT. Then ChatGPT is going to write the caption and then it's going to post to Instagram and follow up by posting to Facebook. So you can see it just posted to Instagram. We can check that. Looking to rapidly grow your social media following, then you need to be consistent. It's not sexy, but it's the truth. And there's two reasons why. Number one, in order to grow quickly, you need to have some of your posts hit and go viral. And the truth is, you can't engineer this. 
There's no magic formula to make yourself go viral. Yes, you can learn and get better and kind of get a sense of what hits more frequently, but the truth is you just need more chances. So you can see this is a raw clip I just recorded on my phone and all the B-roll it added is really relevant. It makes sense and it just makes this piece a lot more polished. And if we hop over to Facebook, and there's two you'll see it right there. Now, one other thing, if you hit the edit pencil, you'll actually be able to see the changes it made. So if you just go to trim here, you can see all the changes it made, all the cuts it made. You can actually see all the captions it wrote. You can see all the B-roll it added. And so if you wanted to, you could actually make some changes and post this manually if you didn't want the system to post by itself, but that's all optional, but it's kind of cool to see all the edits that Submagic made. And so once you're done testing this automation, you're ready to put it live, just hit the toggle here and you could choose an interval. 15 minutes is fine. And what this means is that it's just going to be looking in that folder every 15 minutes to see if you've uploaded a new file. Probably won't be uploading more frequently than that. So 15 is good. So just hit save. And now your workflow becomes this, just simply drop a file into that folder. So whether you recorded it on your phone, your webcam, your professional camera, whatever it is, just drop it in that folder. And then within a few minutes, it's going to be edited and posted to all your socials automatically. That's it. You don't need to log into make.com. You don't need to log into Submagic, your social profiles to post nothing. You're just taking your raw clip, dropping it in that folder and boom, it's done for you. So that's the system. You upload a raw clip into a Dropbox folder and the automation handles all the editing and posting for you. Now I want to set the right experience expectations here. Is this as good as a professional human editor? Not necessarily. And it's not supposed to be. The point is this setup gets you 80 to 90% of the result with about 1% of the effort and cost. The goal with social media is to stay consistent. So that trade-off is absolutely worth it because when it comes to growing online, consistency beats perfection every time. Check out the links in the description for everything you need to try it out yourself. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe for more content featuring the best tools that give you more leverage just like this automation. And if you want to see two more automations that create posts for you 100% automatically, check out these two videos right here. I'll see you in there.